Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today I got to talk about my guy Russ, man. My guy Russ, what you doing, man? What you look, if you guys have not seen his interview with Complex, well, he was on Everyday Struggle last Friday. Y'all gotta watch it, man. You gotta watch it. I finally got a chance to watch it and it wasn't great, man. Um, as a fan, I've been a fan since 2014 live show. That was how I was introduced to Russ. Back, you know, the early struggle days. He wasn't even on SoundCloud yet. It was cringeworthy to watch that interview for me, man. It was, it was fucking cringeworthy, man. I'm like, he's making enemies when he doesn't have to. That was my biggest problem with seeing that interview. I, I, I hated seeing that. Um, especially being a fan of, you know, the show in general and those guys and Jessica Academics. So then to see him do that, I think the biggest problem that Russ is going to face is the fact that he's creating obstacles for himself. And maybe being an underdog, that's, you know, that's part of what you kind of do. Sometimes you have to be inspired. They get inspired by obstacles. So you kind of create obstacles for yourself, I guess. But like Russ is like that friend that you have where you always gonna back them up but then they get in a fight one day in, in public and the other person like they're tripping there's no reason they should be in that fight but now you like <sighs> and gotta back them up anyway that was Russ in that interview at some points I feel like the situation's serious but it's not that serious it's serious from the standpoint is if he really wants those accolades like I want to be Drake number one which he stated many times before he's going to have to be politically correct in some ways and do some politicking why because when you think of the Grammys all that stuff is politicking we can go over that another time like but that stuff is is just politics and if you want to be in the top five conversations in the culture you have to appease to certain people in the culture you don't have to bow your head and get on your knees none of that stuff but if they don't like you and you get trapped out of those conversations think about somebody like g easy right g easy is i mean dude's successful man he's wildly successful you can't really say he's not but he doesn't get really included in the culture everyday struggle is a platform that brings in a lot of new fans it has the potential to create new fans and a lot of people looking through the comments they're like who is this guy not liking this guy calling him a dick an ass so you know all that kind of language once again i feel like some of those things are unnecessary but at the same time i don't think his career is in danger as much as they make it seem they're like you don't know where certain people could be in 10 years yeah there are some doors that he's probably closed that will actually probably stay closed but at the same time you don't need the industry to actually have a successful career you just don't i mean that's the way he came up you know and then there's other artists that i could name that aren't really leveraging and using the industry itself to run their career and then we talk about money i mean as long as he can get directly to his fans he can make a decent amount of money there and, I'm, and right now he's really popping off they're not going to stop him before he has his main in his prime run which is he's in the middle of and on the brink of right now and the relationships that i've seen him start to make outside of the music world i'm pretty sure he's gonna make some smart moves with his money and not even necessarily even need to rely on the music industry so he'll be all right there as well <laughs> but still bro i don't know that interview was still tough to watch as many of you guys who already know Russ and feel like y'all have known him forever there's a lot of people who do not know him and that was their first introduction and the way he kept bringing a lot of that stuff up it did seem like it was sitting with him and he was holding on to it that's the perception and the biggest thing you have to realize right this channel is about marketing and branding your brand has nothing the fuck to do with what you think about yourself your brand is what other people think about you so he can keep saying oh I'm not worried about this and y'all you think i'm this it doesn't matter that's what a brand is so he's kind of branding himself in a tough little spot right there i think in some sense he likes ruffling people's feathers right i saw his, on his instagram today that he was wearing this shirt what was it like uh it was something like how much zans and lean do you have to do before you realize you're a loser i'm sure that's gonna make a lot of people uncomfortable too obviously because we know how a lot of culture is uh having a good time with those things these days i really want to know what you guys think who know rest like rest or just saw that interview is he ruining his career how do y'all feel about what he's doing and by the way this is not my rest breakdown video for those of you guys who've been waiting i actually have been done with that video for about a good minute but I wanted to redo the format and reshoot it, so it'll be coming soon, hopefully. You know what to do. 
hit that subscribe button.